Thanks to Skyler Cole for that stirring rendition <coughs> of our national anthem. And we'll be right no. back. <coughs> <sighs> Welcome to the day. <laughs> 52 and 1. Why? The Sixers. That's why. The team that I faced four times in the finals over the years. Who better than the Sixers? Yeah, some bogus 2K isms, but I played really bad. <clears throat> Maybe one day we'll go 82 and 0, but it is not, may not this time. Position, that they can sign the goal is to players. maybe not lose another one. That would be pretty crazy. The best I've ever gone, I believe so. Anyway, I'm not sure. But. Time to move on. Hope the Ingram has a better game. At media day, Lonzo said he's halfway through his rehab, so I don't know what that means. But he will not be playing. Kobe White feels like more of a leader now, so hopefully he has a good year. And our boy Drummond, of course. Oh, get it, man. He missed two free throws last time. Damn. You're participating, say, in one of those events? Yeah, it's a huge weekend, especially for young players, because you're still getting acclimated to the game, and now you're out here with all of these people at the dunk contest, the three-point contest, the rookie game. There's just so much... Murray had a great game. Ingram had a very bad game. So, trying to have a better game with him. Yeah, a daily challenge, correct? No, a daily... An hourly challenge. It, it's every hour. You're walking by, seeing things. It's crazy. Out to DeRozan. Let's it go with a three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Encouraging to see DeMar DeRozan knock it down for three. This helps open up the entire offense even more. Drummond with oh. a screen on DeRozan. Here's Ingram. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Well, Chicago has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Vucevic setting the pick for DeRozan. No good there. Yeah. It's the Spurs taking it the other way. Last time they met was in San Antonio. And the last time these two yeah. met, they were able to get a big win because of that bench production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. Yeah, the reserves add another dimension to their offense. And the opposition had yeah, no Bubba. answers on how to slow them yeah. down. Yeah. Mistake right there. You hate to see unforced turnovers like that. For San Antonio, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. It's Ingram on the wing. That's in there. Murray with the assist. If I'd hit one like that, we would have went to overtime. That is what it is. <coughs> Shot very bad with Ingram last game. Which I kind of saw coming because I've been shooting real bad lately. He's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. 
poked loose and stolen by Murray. In transition, here comes San Antonio. And that one's good, Ingram. And a look at the mobile one drive, driving right into your living room. And Kevin, little oh. plays like that one <clears throat> will help them manage this lead heading into the half. How about the determination? And now the first time out called here for the Bulls. And no question, Kobe White can shoot it. How about the accuracy as well? That might be underselling his Sixers ability, had nine more free throws than us. Set a franchise record with seven threes in a single quarter. Including... Which I was very mad in the moment of uh, off ball reaching foul, so I didn't. I was not controlling the player. I didn't go for a steal. Ingram was off ball. I was controlling Drummond at the time, and Ingram just goes in for a reach in and got a foul. Ingram uh, Embiid hit two free throws. There was just a lot of that trying to overcome a lot of stuff. Even if even if that hadn't happened, that play and say they missed that basket. I mean, who knows? You know. It's just like the game just wasn't helping me at all. <laughs> uh, off ball reaching foul, like come on, I, like how, how is that right? <laughs> Especially with the game that close. With the break in the action, let's go to the two like if I foul, sure, but I can't be responsible for the computer on my team fouling. Like, mean, that's crazy. On that end of the floor. I don't know how people play with player lock on. Leave it have thing ever. So I guess hope that's not going to be a, a new thing where off ball reaching fouls. Loose ball fouls are okay. So that was me. That was me doing that. But for the computer to foul the computer, <laughs> it's like, come on, man. For Embiid to just, you know, splash two free throws. <laughs> That was pretty hard to overcome. White dishes to Levine. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five I tried to catch Drummond at media day, but I guess he wasn't there or the Bulls covers didn't show him. But I hope he has a good season. <clears throat> if not, I hope they trade him to a team that needs him. The Bulls are kind of a mess. They need this. To go, that one's good from the corner. And when you're a high usage player like Vucevic, you have to keep your head up and be willing to make the next pass. Murray kicks to Drummond, stolen by Levine. Caruso with the ball. He's picked up by Drummond. Back to Caruso. Oh, he got hacked on the three pointer. Go ahead to the line. And now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen, triggering a review of the personal foul. That is a flop is the <laughs> of the highest now, order. The can... That was a flop. Personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes block. make it a lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay <laughs> review. It's a block. When you see the Touch nothing but ball, and then he just fell. You really get... It's confirmed. Yeah, whatever. How fast the action really is, and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They have decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this, yeah, the fuck right you, ball, Crusoe. You gotta acknowledge the effort. I had you for one year. I traded your ass so I could get Kevin Love. Did it work out? Eh, mostly. This Bulls team has not fallen in love with the three-point shot. Yeah, some of it's scheme and some of it's personnel. Don't just shoot threes because everyone else is doing it. They slash through the lane. They'll post you up, and it gets them to the free throw line. That's where they dominate. For three, Ingram. And then <laughs> Chicago with the rebound. And here is Caruso. Which is about uh, five points a game. And people forget that DeMar DeRozan has competed in multiple dunk contests. This man has elite bounce. Now oh, here's Ingram. Three-point lead. And slam dunk by Ingram. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. He doesn't ah. hit that one. 
And stuff like that, like what the hell is that? And then like, the game, of, the game against the Sixers, like I had a wide open layup with Gordon Hayward, and he shot some weird ass windmill layup. Like what the fuck? That was two points. I mean, it's just Murphy's Law. <laughs> we were just not meant to win that game. <laughs> DeRozan with it. He's picked up by Drummond. DeRozan gets the bucket. Yeah, he's off to an impressive start. Always nice to get three of your first four to drop. White against Murray. And then Murray with the jam. Outstanding work in the pick and roll. Murray just... Pass to Vucevic. Back to DeRozan. It's a nice ball movement here by Chicago. Caruso, no good. Last game for the Spurs. They want to turn it around after the loss to the Philadelphia 76ers. Outside, Levine. Trains it from beyond the arc. Levine's got six. An elite score. Levine is terrific at understanding when to pull up. Just like that. Ugh. And it's Ingram missing. Chicago Damn. with the ball. They're on a 14 to 4 run right now. And it's Brandon Ingram with the thumb. That is his first foul of the game. Chicago calls timeout. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new. It is tempting to buy 2K24 just to not have that the clown face guy. Green's checked in for Alex Caruso. I will say that. And there's the call on Andre. Just to not have that in the game. Second foul of the game. Trade deadlines in a week. I don't know. Carter, the pass to Williams. Oh, and the jam by Williams. He may not have that traditional power forward. The only thing I could see happening is uh. That kind of levels the playing field. Guys, they're looking for a maybe Trey and Brandon Clark. I feel like I've been pretty patient. But. And here's Brooks from outside. Bean with the rebound. The Bulls leading by three. You know, I like Brandon Clark, but man. Three off the mark. And so this year especially has been really bad. For the Spurs. Drummond is just a Brooks. Jesus Christ. San Antonio and <clears throat> missing. Green with the ball. Now guarded by Murray. <laughs> and a miss there on the triple. That's how bad my shooting is. Just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. Carter, the pass to Craig. And it's set nope. by Drummond. Motor keeps drumming Get the engaged. fuck out of my way, dude. He doesn't want to let any shots go in. Ingram, down through the hoop fucking small. His fifth make on nine shots from the floor. And, and his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a God damn it, Dylan. option whenever they need one. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. And the first one at the line is good. That's really the only thing I could see happening. Maybe Trey and Brandon Clark. But I don't know what I'd trade him for. John Collins, he's jacked in for the Spurs. I've had him for a while. Players with this type of athleticism at Zach Levine. Historically, they keep people watching on TV, and they keep people in the crowd. Why? Because you never know what you're going to see from them. And he had some good games early this season, but it seems like every time I put him in the game now, he just... I don't know. And boy, he's still young. Yes. And that one's good, Ingram. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. Are we dropping 60? I can tell you that. Follow the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. First trip to the line for him here. And that 84% free throw percentage is a testament to all the. But again, John Collins has kind of made Clark even more glaringly bad. Jones looking for an opening. Or he's not even playing. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team. Uh. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burn. Now here is Carter. And uh, right now he's averaging about seven points a game. And the wide open shot from Green. Trains the three-pointer. Green's got it all tied up now for the Bulls. 
and he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Jones, the pass to Van Vliet. Trying huh. to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going to the left. Open look here for Craig. And that comes off Corey Craig. by Levine. And now a three-point Bulls lead. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Happy to see that one go in for his second make in five attempts. Fred's and jump I shot on here. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Like, I feel like this the shooting hasn't been as worrisome as I thought it would be with them changing everybody's now. jump shots and not letting you really Mr. fuss Jones. with them. Even though you can kind of fuss with them. For three, Ingram, and a yeah! San Antonio with a three. Three but, uh, we've like we said, the best jump shot with Vansley. And Fred will miss shots that Ingram will hit on white, so I don't know what the hell. He witnessed him delivering a series of three pointers. Chats, who has watching his pride of Pelican. Don't go anywhere. We'll the be pinball right goat. Pelican probably won money last night betting against me. Against the Sixers. I know he did. game for the first quarter and we'll see what happens here in the second and breaking mm -hmm. down some numbers here the hustle stats for the Spurs Bulls trail by three so with Rhodes on the bench here's how the floor looks for Greg Popovich Ingram is out there with Brooks <clears throat> then it's Jones then it's Josh Hi, yes. what the fuck? and it's Collins in at the five down low that's his second foul here pretty early. I've noticed some weirdness when we go for a steal with squares on this 2K. Like the ball will be over here and your guy would go <laughs> and totally just hit the other dude's arm for no reason. Not even on the right side of the ball. Like. And that one goes long. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate. It didn't Come on, DeRozan, them, you know you can't guard thing. Ingram. Now here's Ingram. He's pulling yourself. He 15 point outing in their last game against Philadelphia. When you look at the way Ingram can get off the shot, when he gets to his spots, there's just no stopping him. Very few players can create like he can. A creator indeed. And the name you always hear, Greg, with Ingram as a comparison, Kevin Durant. And that's about as fair a comp as you'll find. Ingram is special with how oh, he can go, go, go. go, Josh. With that shot makes him a lethal ah. weapon late in the game. Now, here's DeRozan. 26 points for him last game against Portland. Okay, look. When you oh, Russell, Ingram with the block. Really get to the line. Just ask him. Here's Ingram. The fuck out the way. Ingram. Got to give props to Ingram for aggressively attacking the rim. Not many guys want to get in his path. Mike finds Caruso outside DeRozan. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Vucevic. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. I don't know why Collins was way out there for. He's done an amazing job improving his playmaking skills, including finding his open teammates. Oh, here's Ingram. He's got 20 oh. off on the lane. DeRozan with it. Now guarded by Ingram. And a foul called on Tyus Jones. And that'll be his third foul so far. They might start using him a little bit more sparingly with three fouls already before the half. Gordon Hayward's checked in for the Spurs. And White kicks to Vucevic. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. What? What are y'all looking at? Can we get LASIK for all the refs, please? Did I even hit anything? I didn't even hit the ball. Like on the hand, that's a high five. You're allowed to high five. And then he, then I go all the way past him. He doesn't even get affected by me. We might have won that challenge if I had a challenge. You know, in a seven-footer that can play 
the entire court. Vucevic is a tough cover because of that versatility. The Spurs making the switch here. Murray's checked in. And when people talk about defense, the term boxes and elbows comes up a lot. Great for our audience. Can you explain what that's about? It's a great point, Kevin. And, and listen, the two defenders on what we call the boxes, that's down in the low post there. And you see those two boxes down at the end of the free throw line. And then you have the two defenders on the elbow. So that's the edge of the free throw line. The idea to close down the paint. Now here's DeRozan following the miss by Josh Richardson. Vucevic set the big for DeRozan. Pass to Vucevic. Six on the shot clock and trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Ingram against Caruso. A three-pointer uh. is right on target. Jay Rich. And the Spurs lead by five. Boy, it's a joy to watch Ingram as he's developed. One of the hardest working players in the game. That shot wide open. Oh, time you hit one. Caruso's got five now. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's oh. NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now here's Williams. Following the miss by Josh Richardson. Two points. That one goes. How can he hit that? But if my I miss with Josh. Like what the fuck? DeRozan refuses to be held back. And the fuck out the way. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, GA. He really does put pressure on him. Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Richard, one of the greatest coaches in the history of pro basketball, a guy you played for. Yeah, there we go, Clark. On March 11, 2022. It's not the offense I'm worried about. It's the defense. Winning his mark for a head coach in the NBA. And what's so special is all of those victories are coming with the Spurs. And look, I have just like out of out of position every every play. I think he would say that's completely not true, but uh, he had to be he had to be one of the great coaches you played for. It, it was. My career got extended because of the things that I learned in San Antonio. If I wouldn't have had that experience with him and their coaching staff, I would never have played as long as I did. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, you may not know this, but Gordon Hayward was a two-time Indiana State singles champion in ah. tennis. He says, in high school, I was yeah. better in tennis than basketball, but I've always loved hoops more. Thankfully, I was able to grow throughout high school to get to the frame I have now. He has certainly filled out in the NBA. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, he sure has. He's been a terrific player to watch and follow. The injury is significant, but he continues on. David, thanks. And a solid playmaker. White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. Richardson outside. Back to Murray. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And man, has DeJounte Murray Blossom Richardson the oh. very special player or what? He's been terrific. And this is happening because he's embraced. Fuck having more responsibility. The minute you accept being a leader, the future becomes bright. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for DeRozan. Javante Green comes in for Patrick Williams. Bean's checked in for Alex Caruso. And it's Carter in for White. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Here's Murray. Richardson trying to break loose. He just looks off this quarter. Looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. And Vucevic throws it down. And using every bit of that large frame for the exclamation point, Vucevic a force around the rim. Now here's Ingram. 21 points in the game. And check it out, some numbers for Zach Levine. And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint, 
from mid range or hurt you from uh. range. And here in the second quarter, he's starting to work himself to the free throw line. That's a good move. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. Hope I didn't jinx him. Outside green from downtown. Rebounded by the Spurs. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled into what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. And the Spurs with some changes. Andre Drummond comes in for Clark. Ah. And Otto Porter Jr. in for Ingram. Levine, that's good. Off the pass, Levine is more or less just automatic. He just lets it fly. Spurs leading by four. Drummond with a screen on court. Murray, the pass to Drummond. Fires for yes, three. Yes, sir. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. Yeah. That'll be his third foul so far. Third foul. Fourth team foul. Carter kicks to Craig. Here's Vucevic, and the Bulls tack on two more. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Here's Richardson, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Richard, you were part of a Cavs team that came back from three games to one down in the NBA Finals to win the title. Remarkable. Just how hard was that to do? Well, let me say this. I think it was the greatest championship ever. And I'm not being biased. Those are the facts. They were the defending champion. They had the two-time MVP. They won 73 wins that year. So for me, that was the most special comeback because we played in the greatest championship of all time. I'm assuming there was no doubt in your mind at all you would come back, correct? Uh, that's a lie. Uh, there was tons of doubt in my mind. But I will say this. When you have a group of guys that stay together when you're down 3-1, it's because you believe in each other and we believe in ourselves. The Spurs making a switch here. Collins is checked in. Green with the ball. And Rose picks him up defensively. Carter, the pass to Levine. Bangs home the trifecta. Levine's got 15. It's first triple of the second quarter, third of the game. To the middle, Richardson finds Collins. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Vucevic has got eight rebounds in this game. Executing to perfection right now offensively. Long arm auto. I mean, in total sake, good luck trying to stop him now. Passes it to Levine. He's that flopping go. for had a chance, though, to take the lead. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough mm -hmm. night. Yes, it was. And tonight, I expect them to play better offensively. Try to get some closer looks. Now, here's Levine. After the miss from John Collins. Now the pass to Craig. Shot clock at five. Chicago needs to get a shot off. And slam dunk by Vucevic. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> Well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Here's Collins after Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. And this is how you use the mid-range area. Collins keeping it simple and just taking what the D gives. And the foul on Josh Richardson. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. And so Levine nails both of them. Levine against Richardson. Over Levine. And he got uh. that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Zach Levine making things happen for Chicago. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop in a close game. What makes the difference in the second half? 
lots of things, you know. It's a game of mistakes. It's a game of playing well. Who knows? Always love your philosophy, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, David. Thank you. We'll be back. Halftime is here, and with the San Antonio Spurs in a neck-and-neck -neck game, lots to talk about. You look at the play of their bench, this second unit is doing exactly what the coach is looking for. It's a luxury to have this kind of support. I mean, I know we talk about team depth all the time, but that's been the difference tonight. All right, guys, now let's take a look at the possible dunk contest participant. And that is it for halftime, folks. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Brandon Ingram has been sensational. I hope and, not. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. And let's see if the D adjusts make life a little more difficult on him. DeRozan out there with Vucevic, then it's Zach Levine, then it's Kobe White, and it's Caruso in at the two spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Levine named to his first All-Star game in 2021. Zach Levine had a breakout season. Yeah, that was year seven for Zach, averaging over 27 points per game. And look, it feels like he's been in the league forever, but he was only 19 when he was drafted in 2014. Zach's younger than a lot of people think. San Antonio trailing here. Clark, a screen on Caruso. It's stolen by Vucevic. White with it. Parted now by Clark. To the paint. Here's DeRozan. Levine for three. It's Clark with the rebound. Clark's got his fourth rebound in this one. Porter, a screen on Levine. It's still Here's DeRozan. Rebounded by the Spurs. Clark's got rebound number five here tonight. That's not how you want to come out of the break. Three straight misses. They need to settle in quick. For Chicago, they've gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. And the call will be against Fournier. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. An ominous start to the second half. They are now 0-4. It's Brooks on the wing. From deep, Rose. And it's White with the rebound. White's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Levine. Vucevic with it. He's covered by Rose. And it's Vucevic missing. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Porter in the corner. God damn. Off the mark. Now Chicago has gone 0 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. What? What? White looking around and the foul on road. That's his first foul. It's still early in the period and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. DeRozan finds Levine. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got his third assist on the night. Brooks against Levine on the wing. Porter. Off the mark and the drop continues. Ouch. Five shots without a main. That's a really ragged start coming out of that. Levine can't hit. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball in the three-point line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And that one falls for Brooks. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. Trading for Booch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. It's a refreshing approach. Jones checked in for Rose. And Clark has got the ball here for the San Antonio Spurs. Here's Brooks. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Chicago leading. Levine deciding where to go with it. 
That's in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. And he's made his mark on offense especially. they got to be thankful he's on their squad. Jones, the pass to Fournier. Caruso against Brooks. Clark trying to get open. Brooks misses. The Bulls leading by four. Right at the free throw line. DeRozan's shot is off. The Spurs shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Damn. Outside Fournier. Fires the three. Oh, shit. Watch this jump shot so screwed up this game. Not quite enough to fix. That time around, just lucky. And White slams it in. And at 6'5", White more than capable athletically. Like the aggressiveness there. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for the Bulls. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for San Antonio. Shoots the three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. White's got it, rebounds in the skin. And here's a whistle. That goes on Dylan Brooks. Uh, uh, that's foul number two for him. Bulls making a switch here. Craig's checked in. And San Antonio also making a switch. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Otto Porter Jr. Outside Williams. Here's the three. Hayward grabs the board. Hayward's got his fourth rebound in this one. It's a moment now to see the numbers for White. Averaging 12 points, three assists, and three rebounds. And he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game to come to him. Solid play all around. Yeah, not playing outside himself, but finding lots of chances that do his thing and affect the game. Carter, he's checked in for the Bulls. Over Hayward. Carter against Van Vliet. Back to Craig. Six to shoot. And the Bulls with another miss. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that oh, last Come start. on, man. They're losing because he is struggling so bad and he has not looked comfortable all game. Offensive rebound. White left side. Takes a three. Connects from three point range. White's got his third basket of the night right there. An assertive offensive player. White knows he has the green light to rise and fire. Jones kicks to Van Vliet. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. Clark sets a screen for Van Vliet. In the corner, it's Hayward. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Hayward's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Hayward against DeRozan, outside White. The 11-footer. They get a hand on it. Out of Damn bounds, it. Bulls ball, Chicago keeps possession. And a chance now to take a look at the schedule for the Chicago Bulls. On Tuesday, they'll be facing Stephen Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. Then on Thursday... They'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. And, you know, nobody loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about uh. itself over the next stretch of game. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers, but DeRozan, he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk came in the sixth grade. Five-star high school prospect, and in a strange way, he's still an underrated season. And he's got his first free throw of the game. The athleticism and blinding speed White possesses is impressive. This guy plays with a lot of moxie. Drummond sets the screen for Jones. For three, Van Vliet. Chicago grabs the miss. And, the, and they're controlling. Fucking the hell. Plus five in that category. Green with the ball. He's picked up by Drummond. Green passes the court. It's stolen by Jones. For three, Hayward. And he's good on the three ball. Hayward's got six. 
and that's a rhythm shot. Your, your timing has to be right. Count on Hayward to be in sync and in rhythm on that pull-up jump. And even though he didn't see a ton of time on the floor in his one year in college, nobody doubted Patrick Williams and his upside. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Maurice checked in for Jones. And it didn't take long for Williams to live up to his potential. No, and that's where basketball can be so funny sometimes. He started every game his rookie season after not starting at all at Florida State. Let's just say his game might be more tailored for the league. Tries the spin move. The kick out to Williams. And again, Chicago. No good. Murray scanning the floor. And here's Van Vliet. Huh. The yard. Out to Hayward. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Here's Murray. No luck. They battled on the glass. Jesus but Christ. It down. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for Chicago. They lead by four. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drummond. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see huh. the rest is matching up. Look at San Antonio earning the first place position with a terrific record, and we've what? seen them perform the splendidly the pretty much all yeah, season long so far, and they're definitely the team to beat. And, and you know, for the Spurs, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. Even though some people doubted them, there are just ah, as many damn people, it. if not more, who believed in this team from the very beginning. And it's pretty clear right now who was right. Puts it up from 12. Green, no luck. Spurs trail by four. Out to Ingram. Pass to Van Fleet. Hayward outside. Let's it go from deep. That's good. And it's Ingram with the assist. Hayward's got nine points now in just the second half. Yes, he does. Passes it to Green. And there's the pass to Craig. A crossover. Here's White. Hits it from three-point range. White's I don't know if Torrey can make that pass, IRL. In the second half, we've seen him oh, we'll go with it. shooting. Much fewer wasted possessions. Even though they're down. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Vucevic comes in for Torrey Gray. And Levine subbed in for Kobe White. He is a big guard at six foot four. Murray getting up. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. Will go to the line to shoot two. Tonight, he's gone five of eight from the foul line. And would love to hear a little more swish and a lot less clang from the charity strike. He's had a few shaky trips at the line tonight, but he seems to be getting back to his old self. <laughs> that was nasty. The athleticism Hayward has still very impressive, and he loves to show it off. No. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Vucevic has got 13 points. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the ball. And so it's Zach Levine making things happen for the Bull. He's at the quarter century mark. 25 points for him in this. Ladies and gentlemen, And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this speed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's an unguardable pass. Flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter God damn it. Four. On the floor for San Antonio starting the fourth quarter. They've got Ingram. DeJounte Murray is out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Hayward. And it's Drummond in at the pivot spot. And in the middle. Big wily move by Ingram. Able to come up with the foul and get that shot in the air. Josh Richardson's checked in for San Antonio. Both free throws. Good for Ingram. And Chicago shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Carter down low. He's covered by Murray. 
Here's Caruso. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it. Oh my God, I hate those camera cuts. So much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Out to Ingram. Lots of room. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got six assists now in the game. He's gotten so good at finding the open man. Murray does it again. Carter with it. Out guarded by Murray. Carter, the pass to Levine. Over in the corner, Caruso. Oh, good with the triple. Yeah, he revert back to the mean. Here to retake the lead. You can see the intensity on the So will Drummond. Hits the three-point bomb. And that's what they want to see. Drummond knocking down jumpers and drawing the defense away from the basket. Ahead. Here's Ingram. And terrific yes. work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. And it's a five-point Spurs lead. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle stunts for the Spurs? And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drop that happened a moment ago. And a close game like this, you've got to do and just find a way to make things happen. Spurs leading by five. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Outside, Levine. Down low, Caruso. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on DeJounte Murray. Really on uh, the right plate defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. White is checked in for Javon Carter. What can you say about Caruso that hasn't already been said? One of the biggest team first guys in the entire league. Ingram against White. Out to Hayward. Launches a three. That's good. Yes. Ingram with the assist. Ingram's got three assists tonight. Yeah, Haywood's range can be devastating. The defense has to cover him beyond the arc. And White slams it in. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their four leader. No doubt. That's the kind of play that can energize the whole team. And they will take it in a close game like this. Pass to Vucevic from the arc. Oh, no good that time. That's the Spurs taking it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was not. Here's Drummond. And Get off Drummond me. Throws it down. Big man on the move. Drummond running the floor, getting rewarded there with the hoop. Bulls trail by six. And about Alex Caruso, Richard, not many people will complain about having him as a teammate. They all love to play with him. Yeah, no, no. He's one of those guys that you just get fired up seeing every day. And when he got injured last season, you can tell how much his teammates missed him. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Kicks it out to Richardson. To the inside. It's stolen by DeRozan. On the wing, Levine. For three. Rebound Andre Drummond. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And it's the growth of Murray as a distributor has really proved to be a great point guard. There were questions about that early in his career. The Spurs making a switch here. Brooks checked in. Becoming a more consistent offensive weapon. Murray finding ways to contribute. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Well, during the break, I listened in on Billy Donaldson's humble with his team. He told him we've got to make the most of every chance right now. This is a winnable game. We've got to make plays. Guys, we'll see if they can come back. Thanks, David. Gordon Hayward's checked in for the Spurs. Quite a good look. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. And Greg, you can see it. Murray has really improved his passing. It has a great sense of the court and spacing. Reads defense as well and can direct his teammates. Good see him being an elite passer in no time. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Bulls trail by seven. Over in the corner. White. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Spurs have gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. And he gets contact and Oof, the whistle on the Jesus. shot. Two <laughs> shots coming up. 
and there's the call. Chicago the foul. And what a fearless drive by Brooks going right into the defense there and drawing the foul. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. And it's DeRozan with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. Vucevic is screen on Richardson. Here's DeRozan. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on Richardson. Not afraid to go inside. DeRozan even picks up the whistle that time. The first free throw is good. Ingram, he's checked in for Gordon Hayward. Both free throws good from DeRozan. Spurs leading by six. Murray, the pass to Ingram. He finish crazy talk from the wiry ingram that's going to get millions of views on whatever social media Jeez. are using these days <laughs> that was brutal and that one falls for ingram bulls have gone 4 of 10 here in the final period not the time to go cold got that one up quick he was solid in the first half from deep. He's a guy who can get hot. Let's see how he does here in the second. Ingram against DeRozan. Ha! Off the mark there with the three-point shot. His three-point shooting kind of dried up in the second half. He is yet to make one after knocking down three before halftime. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Dean passes to Caruso. Some nice ball movement here by the ball. Levine can't hit. And as long as he keeps missing from deep, the D will keep letting him fire away. He's just off from range right now. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pen. And that finish shows you how dangerous he can be as a passer and a finisher. DeRozan, that's good. Damn. His first triple of the second half. Can he get it going? San Antonio leading by three. Here's Murray. Yes, no. Good. Great D that time for Vucevic. Missed that. And the foul on Josh Richardson. That's his third foul of the game. Patrick. They're calling timeout. I gotta go to the bathroom.
Go. All right, we're back. Bulls are trying to stay in it. Can't believe we missed that layup. He's checked in for Chicago. Here's what it is. Levine against Brooks. And that's ah. more than no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. Personal foul. Free throw good, Levine. At the line for Chicago. And good on the second, so he makes them both. All right, it's all right. The Spurs have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. The feed to Drummond. And yes! Didn't mean to get that far. Look how close we were. Huge buckets down the stretch. Levine double team. Williams inside. Richardson cover. The shot by Good board over Vooch. leading by three. Brooks outside. Yes, sir. This goes to Murray. Murray's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. 158 left to play here in the fourth. There's Levine. Pulls it. Levine's got 29 in the game. Levine has always seen himself as a top tier player, and he continues to prove it with his play. Here's Ingram. Rebound collected by Levine. Levine's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Final quarter. And, and here we go, guys. This possession could make or break them right here. Ingram outside. There's Fuck y'all. Ah. Here's Truman. And that'll be ah, good board. Officials on the call with the foul. Such a potent presence inside. Truman is a scary man to match up with. You have to play a physical. Yes. If it means foul. And he ends up making the second, and that puts them up by five. And here's Levine who brings it up for the Chicago Bull. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant what? foul. What? Come on. Boy, a very hard foul that time, and the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call Shit. for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of plays. As a leader on this team, yes. Levine is used to these moments, not letting the spotlight overwhelm him. Listen, they're still right in this thing. Missing that free throw, though, keeps this a two-possession deficit. Levine double team. Caruso kicks to Levine. Pass to White. Let's the three fly. San Antonio with the rebound. For three, Ingram. Ah. To drop for him. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. First free throw is good, and that narrows the lead down to just three. And both free throws good for White. Clutch. Those free throws turn this into a one possession ballgame. Ingram outside. Drummond sets the screen for Ingram. Feeds to Drummond. Money. Yes! You just love seeing a player with was determined to deliver. Chicago calls That's their last Sonic. one out. They're trailing by four. We've got 28 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Levine wide open. It drops. And that shot brings them to within just one. And he just seems to always deliver in the clutch. And he's got it going right now. That's who they want to take it. The big shot. And they go to the intent. 
intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. During his time in the league, Murray has improved as a free throw shooter, but there's always added pressure when you need to make them in the clutch. The last make was huge. Now, realistically, the worst case scenario for them is 0-2. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Uh. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Levine dishes to Williams. Misses the train. Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up the foul. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of the game. away. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Calm and cool, and his free throws put a bow on this one. Nice way to finish the game up. From deep. No good on the shot. And that was a little bit of a rage check for him. Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistent. And so it's the Spurs <laughs> to win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, DeJounte Murray. They're shooting tonight, at least. Plus 14. Hey, we're gonna have a good game. Hopefully, he's back. You guys thought shooting so many threes. Be back on. Got the win. Yay.